So, hello everyone and welcome back to the 52nd week of Project Pam. I kind of put off filming this video because I really wanted to hit Pam on something but I didn't so I'm just going to accept the fact that I didn't. So, yeah, quick sneak peek. Anyway, so I do have a couple things to talk about. I tossed my blush, the Coralina blush from Milani. I noticed one day that it like left the sparkly cast on my cheeks and I didn't like that. And I was at work too, so that was kind of sucked. But yeah, um, so I tossed that and then I also had another eye cream in here, but I used it up and I just tossed it and thought I would mention it here. So yeah, those are two things that I used up or decluttered. And I'm just gonna get right in. The only thing, well, I used up a couple things. So, this is my Lancome Your Energy Multi Lift Action Eye Cream. Um, it was just a free sample that I got about half a year ago. And I don't think I noticed anything with this. I know I look dead, but that's because I've had six hours of sleep so that I can sleep early tonight and wake up early tomorrow um, for work <laughs> so yeah um, this is alright I wouldn't purchase it because it's I think about 60 or 70 dollars something ridiculous like that and I have my own eye cream right now I just realized how weird I look in the in my screen but I try to do a cut crease and I can always do it on my left eye, but on my right eye, it never turns out that great. So yeah, just please ignore that. And I'm talking quietly because my boyfriend doesn't know what I'm filming and he's asleep. So yeah, that's done. Then I'll put it in my empties bin because I'm filming that right after this. Um, and I have my face masks um, or sheet masks. So. Basically with this, I finished up almost everything except for my vitamin C mask from Nature Republic, the orange one, because, um, I don't know what happened, but I'm not wearing foundation today, if you can tell, um, but right here, I was using this really finicky, um, it's called cleanser, and... When you use it, you're not supposed to use any other product with it, but it's not the one I typically use. So, it caused some reactions on my skin, so I'm probably going to just use that mask on my, um, on, like, on my face so that my face can recover from that cleanser. But yeah, so, I have five sheet masks in here, and I'll just talk about them quickly. So... I have this mask and I open it on the bottom so I'm holding it upside down. I got this from a hotel in Japan and this one was really weird so instead of having like just an open eye flap, the eye flaps were at the bottom and then you could flip them up and put it over your eye. But it was also extremely drippy and sticky and I would never ever purchase this if I saw it. Yeah, it was like a really weird mask. It was really thick too. Um, I don't think it did anything for me, really. So, there's that. I'm gonna put it back in my bag, because I don't think I'll be talking about this in my empties, because I already have other sheet masks there. And then I have this, which is the Nature Republic AHA BHA mask. Um, and this one was, it was alright. Um, as well. I mean, I'm pretty used to this, and if I use this a couple times a week, like maybe two or three times, then it does make a difference. Other than that, not really. Um, but yeah, this mask is not extremely sticky, but I found that if I just put my serum over like my mask after I'm done, and I like I tap the product into my skin and I put the serum on, there isn't really a problem with stickiness until the next morning. 
right, so, oh, and I have two of these tea tree sheet masks. Um, this used to be my favorite, but, um, they have become, like, a bit sticky. Like, normally I just leave it on until it dries on my nose, and that's when I know that I can remove it and it won't be as sticky. Um, but these have started to become sticky. I have no idea why. They're not old masks either. I bought them in April, so... It's, it's not extremely old or anything. It's not like the one she mask that I had that was three years old. But yeah, Th this one does work. But, um, I don't know. I just, I guess I have to let it dry longer on my skin. Okay, and then I have this, which is the uh, Real Nature Orange Sheet Mask um, from Nature Republic. And I... I remember this smelling good, but other than that, I don't know if this, like, helped with my dull skin. I don't know if my skin is very dull right now, so, yeah. I, I used it on a day where I thought my skin looked dull, but it doesn't anymore. Maybe it did help, but yeah, it, it's not something I would repurchase, and... I'm trying not to buy sheet masks in the future. I'll probably just buy like the treatments in a jar, like the um, I really like the Skin Food Rice um, mask. It it's like you can use it as a exfoliant, or you can use it um, yeah as an exfoliant, or you can use it as a mask. What I like to do is put it on as a mask and then exfoliate it after. They feel so nice and so clean, and it actually works on my skin, which is, like, I can't see that happening with most products, so my trick is every time I go to Ulta, um, if they have a buy one, get one half off, they normally also have a $3.50 off of $15 coupon, and they're $10 each, so if you buy one, get one half off, it's $15 for two of them and then you have the coupon and then it becomes eleven fifty for two and that like drops the price down significantly. It's even cheaper than Amazon. So that's a tip if you want to buy it. I also don't have it with me so yeah. Can't really show you guys. Anyway, so those are the products that I used up and so that leaves me with like two products left. Um so I almost finished this. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. The marks rubbed off of this thing, um, but I I could mark one still. So this is the one I have, and then this is where I am currently. Yeah, I'm almost out. Uh, I don't know if I should just keep using it for the rest of this year because, uh, well, I guess it is still kind of my shade. But we'll see, we'll see. I might just finish this up and put it in like a December empties video. Then this is my brush cleaner because, uh, yeah, I'm a filthy animal that doesn't really wash my brushes. So <laughs> this is to try to get me to wash my brushes more, but this is where I am at. It's been like pretty steady progress. As you can see, and um, I will definitely be done by next year, or I'll definitely finish this next year, and I'll probably not repurchase this ever again. So there's this legendary Daiso um, sponge cleaner, and it's in a little bottle, and it's got pink and black packaging, and it's supposed to work really well. The only place I've seen them sell it. Um, or where I still see them sell it is Australia, and I'm not going to fly to Australia to pay over there. I believe it's two eighty, two eighty for um, a like makeup brush cleaner. So yeah, I'm probably just going to find something else to use from now on. Um, maybe else I don't know, or maybe I'll just use like um. 
a bar of soap instead. But yeah, this leaves this metallic smell in your brushes, even though when you sniff it out of the bottle, it smells like laundry detergent. So I have no idea if it's because my brushes rusted, but I don't let them soak that much water. So I have no idea why they smell like rust. So yeah, that's my progress. Pretty proud of this one because it's a consistent progress. Okay, and then this was a project that I really, really wanted to hit pan on, but I couldn't. So I'll just show you it now. It's this one. So this is a Dane from the Her Face Palette. As you can see, it's, um, yeah. I think my mistake was not digging in the same spot, but I did want to try to get it evenly so that when I did hit pan, it wouldn't crumble. So at first I was going like horizontal, uh, vertically and then horizontally and then back to vertically once I saw that horizontally was starting to make too much of a dip. But it seems like the middle has suffered <laughs> a lot. So yeah, I'm not going to be using this product anymore until next year when I am browner. Because as you can see, I'm getting pale and no longer tan. Or I, I am still, but it's fading really fast. And I just realized you can see my undercut. It's been growing out, so yeah, that's everything. And I realized that I forgot to talk about my rollerball perfume. I left that at work. Um, I am very tempted to just throw it away because I am not a perfume person, like maybe if I had a small spray size like this big I would use it a lot more but unfortunately I don't really care for perfume that much so yeah I'm probably just never going to purchase a perfume, I might get like free samples from the store instead and just use that once a year, things like that for a special occasion. But other than that. I don't really care for perfume and this project has kind of taught me that. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'm not sure how I'm going to do my videos next year. I do want to keep doing Project Pan but I have like a Project Pan roulette thing going on right now with like um, 100 other people. I don't know how many there are but I know there's a lot. and. I mean, I don't have that many products left to split among everything. I just...